This is the Hootenanny toy from the 1920s. There were a number of uh, different companies that made similar items back then. And this one is limited to a 6 to 1 ratio between this large gear on which the paper is mounted and then these smaller gears which rotate the cranks which then move the pen in cyclic patterns. So here's how the motion looks. So this is limited to drawing patterns with six, six lobes. But it allowed you to change phase by moving this lever here. And you could get reproducible settings by choosing the right hole combination with the cranks in the right position. You could also use one moving crank and then one stationary point and create, again, a different set of patterns by either choosing that crank or this one with a stationary pin on the other side. Fairly clever. So we've taken the idea of the toy and scaled it up a bit to a 24-inch disc of paper and servo motors to run the paper and the two cranks. In this design I've got magnets that allows changing the radius of the pivot point on the crank and it also is a safety feature if some something gets caught if the pen goes over the edge the magnet will just pop off or slide. As in the toy you can choose various positions uh, from the crank to the arm so that the pen will orbit around different locations on the large paper. The stepper motor drives the crank through a tooth belt drive with about a uh, 5 to 1 reduction. The turntable rests on three points, two casters and then a rubber friction wheel along the edge of the disc and so if I lift it off the friction wheel it's free to turn and then there's a, a central bearing which keeps the disc centered. There's no thrust on that bearing. All the uh, weight is on the three points so it guarantees uh, constant uh, contact with the friction roller. This roller gives us about a 16 to 1 reduction between the motor uh, and the disc. Looking under the disc, you, you can see uh, the, the casters, the center pivot, and then the friction drive. Here's the program for the drawing machine. It's written in pure data. Here are the modules for the serial interface. And then here are the actual controls. A slider for the XRPM, a coarse and fine. That's one, the first crank motor. Then the second crank motor, the Y RPM. And then the Theta RPM, the paper turntable. Course and fine. And then we have a start and a stop button, of course. And I click the pen and click start. And when I choose to, I set the pen down.